was a fierce political contest from the word go. Eight candidates were on the ballot. But in reality, the battle was between these two. The incumbent Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga making his fourth attempt at the presidency. August 8, 2017. The enthusiasm among Kenyan voters evident with long queues across the country. I wish to declare Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta as president-elect. Three days later, the Electoral Commission declared Kenyatta winner. Odinga immediately disputed the results and protests broke out in opposition strongholds. August 19th, the opposition submitted tens of thousands of documents and filed a petition at the Supreme Court. It claimed the vote was rigged. September the 1st, an unprecedented decision. That the presidential election held on 8th August 2017 was not conducted in accordance with the Constitution. The Supreme Court nullified the election, citing irregularities. The reaction was immediate, with the President describing the Supreme Court judges as a bunch of crooks. The new vote was announced for the 17th of October. It was later moved to the 26th. Fellow Kenyans, I wish to announce to you today, on behalf of the IBC, the Electoral Commission cited it needed more time to prepare. Kenyatta went on the campaign trail again. In contrast, Odinga left the country to travel to the US and UK. And on October the 10th, Odinga withdrew from the election. With the opposition boycotting the vote, Kenyatta won the rerun. I, Uhuru Kenyatta. And on November 28th, he was sworn in as president. Many hoped that would end the drama of Kenya's election cycle. But that appears not to be the case. And 2018 may become another year of frustration and economic uncertainty for the East African nation. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.